It's a great day today because healing is in the process. Healing for the earth, healing for our hearts, healing for our sensitivities, and healing for our brother. And that's what brings us from one level to another. That's our power. That's our spiritual connection. That's our joy. That's our warmth. That's our love. Healing. And as we begin to heal, we begin to get an insulation around those things that have made us vulnerable, which ultimately become the strong, powerful leg that we can stand on. The strong, powerful leg that we can pivot from. The strong, powerful leg that we can jump from. It becomes our bionic piece. Why? Because we allow the sensitivity, the warmth, and the healing to spring us to another level. And when we look at our three powerful pieces, on point, in pursuit, and on purpose, it allows us to connect with the healing. It helps us to see, are we truly on point? So many times we are off point. We are off point sometimes when we don't realize it. We are off point, on, not on point sometimes when we don't even know what being on point is. Many times we don't ask ourselves, what does it mean to be on point? Because until you look at what it means to be on point, you can just be busy and think you're being productive. You can think you are acting and you are only reacting. You can think you're looking at something natural and you're operating with something very synthetic. So being on point is a stopping point. It's an evaluation point. It's an auditing point. It's an inventory point that allows us to ask ourselves, are we truly at the apex of where we need to be to get where we need to go? It allows us to humble ourselves, to follow someone who can lead us to the point. Many times we think we know where we're going when we're on a back road and we're really in fact lost. But because we don't humble ourselves, no one can lead us out. So we go round and around and around in circles because we forget the importance of humbling ourselves so we can be led to a main road to subsequently get in pursuit to our purpose. Over to you, Brother Ed Brett. Thank you. You know, it's amazing. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to our message today. We'd like to thank you for the significance, the importance, and the power of being able to participate in a very communicative spirit that allows us to grow, transform ourselves, transform our communities. We look forward to bringing you this message of optimism, growth, transformation, and prosperity. And we also want you to realize that it's about giving. It's about sharing. It's about opening up. And it's about subsequently allowing those around you, next to you, and near you to be able to benefit from the impact of those things you have. We want you to keep in mind that you have a big power and a great capacity to ignite others, to teach others, to lead others, to organize others just through the message, just through the subjects, just through the topics, just through the interaction as a result of the topics that begin to subsequently move you and others to another level. Because the value of interacting is growing. The value of interacting is expanding. The value of interacting and discussing gives you an opportunity to see things at a level that henceforth you hadn't looked at. So it's important for us to see we have capacity right within ourselves. In spite of what we think we don't have, we may not feel we have the education. We may not feel we have the money. We may feel we don't have the experience, but we do have the desire. We do have the insight and we do have the will. And when your will is strong, it can't be broken. And your will being strong and you immersing yourself and marrying your will opens up the things that you feel you lack that prevents you from getting where you ultimately need to go to be on purpose. This is your brother and your friend saying, go out, touch, teach, and transform those around you and watch opportunities blossom in your world. 
This is Brother Tambuzi saying have a great day and see you next time.